the idea of this art this arboretum here is uh, when is a tree not just a tree? It's more than a tree if you know something about it, if you know what kind it is, if you know what it looks like, if you know what its problems are, uh, if you know what it's used for, if you can tell the difference between this tree and that tree. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say they know what they like. What they really mean is they like what they get to know. There's so many people who come by here now uh, and you see them look at the names and say, oh, that's what that is. And you care about things that you know about. And I think that the more people see things, understand it, learn from it, get excited about it, the more support you, you get. It's not just like the center of the preserve geographically, it with trails and the access, but in many ways it is like the spiritual center of this preserve. In honor of this, we figured what better than to put, in a, put another plant in the ground. It's, it's, um, and I, what you said, Paul, it just, it, just, it just added up so well to what's on here. It's planted in honor of this arboretum, which nurtures mines and, and trees. This is a high bush blueberry, which as you see has some really nice fall colors. So we thought it would be a nice, a nice plant to welcome people as they walk in from, from the main entrance. And this is about 15, maybe 18 years ago, I got up to the first tee, and this gentleman says, uh, are you by yourself? I said, oh, come, and he introduced himself, and his uh, name was Fred Rose. He's got a terrible slice, and so do I. His and mine both went into the woods on the right, <laughs> so we walked up to a tree, and he said, now do you know what kind of tree this is? That happened to be a pine tree, but then we saw a maple tree, and then we saw an oak tree. And he was fascinated by all of these and he was showing me how you distinguish one tree from another and what its function is. <laughs> and uh, and uh, then he started sending me books that taught me how, how to identify the different trees. In the annals of Westchester Land Trust history, when they write the book, the Zoffis <laughs> family will be at the pinnacle in terms of what you've done for conservation in the region and the passion and the support and the just outright authenticity for um, preserving land and, and being an ambassador. You, you guys are just inspirational to us, to me personally, and you really have created a model for how others can do this in a community. Um, somebody once said, and you, and you know who it is, it takes a village, right? It takes a village of people to accomplish big things and when people tell you it can't be done you say of course it can we just need persistence and passion and love and some time and as brendan said you've been at this poll for over 25 years now and there's probably many more things that you still want to accomplish and we're so glad to have you as part of the family so again top and bottom of heart um thank you